energy. It used to be autoimmune diseases were rare, very rare. I'll give you one example, autism. Autism affects mostly young, young children. It used to be autism affected one out of 10,000. Today, it's more than one in 100. A thousand times higher increase. A thousand times because of something going on inside the body. And these endocrine disruptors cause the body to send the wrong signals, the wrong messages between the cells. And if the cells can't communicate, think about the last time you had a cell phone call. We call it cell phone, yeah? Cell phone. Hello, hello. Pick me up. Report. Call's finished. Whoa. Who? Pick who up. When? What time? What day? You don't know. Because the communication was terrible. Your body cells are having the same problems. They are not communicating with each other the way they should. So, they're doing the wrong things. In millions and millions of people, the body's cells are attacking themselves. And it happens so often you would be shocked. So we need to look at this and we need to figure out, A, we know what's causing it. We'll look a little deeper. B, is there a way to fix it? Happens. Besides autoimmune diseases, when your cells don't communicate well. Birth defects. 40% increase in just the last few years in China. 40% increase in birth defects. What parent would ever want to go through such a terrible experience? Is it just birth defects? No. Just last week, the Star newspaper in Malaysia had a big, big article. And for those of you who are near enough to see, the title of this article is Cancer villages. And when I saw this, I thought, cancer village? What is this? There are places in China, and not just China, U.S., India, other places, where the cancer rates are so high, it is astonishing, incredible. Young people dying from types of cancer that only affect the very elderly. And the article points very clearly. It's because of synthetic organic compounds in the water. Endocrine disruptors. Cell communication disruptors. Immune system depressors. All of these things are connected to water. So you better believe that the quality of water you drink is going to affect your health. Absolutely. Drugs. Not illegal drugs, but prescription drugs. I think most of you are now aware that this also is a problem just about everywhere in the world. Drugs in the drinking water. What happens is alarming. The research shows that even tiny amounts of these drugs in different combinations change human cells and change wildlife. 
that National Geographic video, they were looking for frogs, remember? Because these frogs had something very strange going on. And in fact, it's not just frogs. These appeared in the newspaper more than six years ago. This poor fellow here on the left, he's checking for some parts that aren't there anymore. Whoa, what happened? Gone. Male fish with female sex organs. Serious. Look at the wife there. The wife saying to the husband, hey, how come no kids? What happened? The parts aren't working. Because endocrine disrupting chemicals are in the water. And it's changing what's happening. There are some studies that indicate up to 50% of men in the United States may be effectively unable to have kids. Wow. Do you know why I live in Malaysia? <laughs> so, even though it is a kind of a funny topic, I don't want my kids having to deal with kind of this kind of a problem. You don't want your children dealing with this kind of a problem. And believe me, it's not just one or two places. After Alvin translates, I'm going to give you some information that you might be shocked. Just in case you think this isn't anything to do with you, or anything to do with this part of the world, next month, the Department of Chemistry Malaysia is hosting an international symposium on forensic science and environmental health. The department has asked me to be one of the international speakers, and my topic is going to be trace amounts of pharmaceutical drugs in drinking water. They want a presentation on this subject. Two others that I'll mention, new pollutants in the water environment. Water Safety Plan in Malaysia. That's one of the topics being presented by one of the professors. One other one that is very interesting. New and emerging diseases from endocrine disrupting chemicals. And again, this is being presented by the faculty, one of the faculty speakers from the University of Malaysia Medicine. So, when you have governments and authorities all around the world talking about these sorts of problems, you know that it's serious. You know that people are paying attention, and it's something that we need to figure out. How can we protect ourselves, our families, our children, from these sorts of problems. 30 minutes or so, we've been talking about H1N1 and endocrine disruptors and synthetic organic chemicals, all kinds of bad stuff. Let's talk about some good stuff. How can we make water perfect again? Because nature gives us perfect water. Don't forget, that raindrop formed in the atmosphere is just H2 only. Two atoms of hydrogen, one atom of oxygen. No virus, no bacteria, no minerals, no synthetic chemicals, no inorganic compounds, no heavy metals, just H2O. Nature gives us perfect water. Is there a way to get it again? And the answer is yes. And for the next few minutes, we're going to look at the solution called reverse osmosis, what we call the biopure process, the way to make water perfect again.